really able to get into a flow state early on. What was the key for you? Uh, really just first pitch strikes. Uh, I think this was the best my fastball command's been uh, pretty much the whole year. So really just like going after guys, attacking with the fastball, and then curveball worked really well tonight, mixing a couple changeups. So, you know, attacking with fastball, strike one, and then, you know, being able to keep hitters off balance, off speed stuff. In that fifth inning, you got a couple of walks on. What did you just um, say to yourself? What, did someone say anything to you to, you know, help you work out that jam and keep going? Well, uh, Coach Rosano came out and he kind of chewed me a little bit. He was <laughs> like, you know, you've been dominating the whole night. Like, just go right at these guys. So really, it was just a, a mental flush, go right back at them. And luckily, you know, escaped with no damage. So worked out pretty well. At 95 pitches, were you expecting to go back after your seventh inning? Or was that conversation like... It was 100%, yeah. I mean, I felt great. Uh, definitely built up for that type of pitch count this late into the season. And, uh, you know, we've been in a little bit of a skid, so I feel like going back out there was best for the whole team. So that's what we did. I think in the first, you struck on the side. I don't think you threw all fastballs. And just when you start out that way, how much of a confidence boost in that? How much does that give you the willingness to just let that fastball eat up tonight? Coach Jarrett said it in the in the post game talk. I mean, that type of you know, you punch out the side on all fastballs, kind of brings the energy to the dugout. And then you know, Jaime hits a huge home run in the first. And I think just that type of confidence for me and for the team, like kind of knowing like we got these guys, you know, our stuff's better than their stuff. It just brings the whole team like we're gonna work some up Did you feel that momentum building throughout the night, or was this something coming into the game that you felt like today was going to be the day that you got one on the back on the board? You know, like I said, we've been in a skid, and it's been tough. You know, we've done a lot of different things. You know, we've been mixing it up, and uh, it just seemed like everybody, you know, we keep saying draw the line. Like, that's enough, and uh, we definitely drew the line today, and it was just no more. We're done. What was the emotion like in the locker room after the game, you know, because it's like you mentioned, it's been a while, it's been building up and how, what was the emotion like to actually get that? It's just the monkey off our shoulders, you know, this is exactly what we need and we're doing the exact right time and, uh, you know, there's no telling how high this team can go, how far we can go. Uh, I think with what we have and how the guys are playing right now, I think the sky's the limit. And it's definitely just, you know, the monkey off the shoulders for sure. It seems like you've got a lot of swing and misses on the curveball today, especially the second, third time through. Is that the most confidence you've had in that pitch in the a game? Maybe not the most confidence, but definitely the most consistency. Um, there are times, you know, earlier in the season, it just really wasn't a factor, and it was more the slider. I don't think I threw the slider once tonight, maybe twice. And uh, I think just the consistency with it, you know, it, was, it wasn't backing up on me, it wasn't popping out, it was continuous, you know, just bottom of the zone for strikes, for swing and misses, like you said. And I think just the consistency of it just was the biggest factor. It looked like you, you flashed a couple of changeups to, I think, Bryce. Just being able to show that third pitch, how much does it help you now? Yeah, I mean, that's the one that's been, you know, that's the biggest struggle. I've been working on that the most uh, this past year in the Cape, this whole fall, this whole spring. And, uh, you know, having that in the back pocket with the fastball, the curveball, and, you know, sometimes the slider, I think it just really keeps lefties off balance, gets them off the fastball a little bit, and just keeps them true. When did you feel like, you know, um, was it during the bullpen? Was it when you got to the stadium? When did it feel like this could be a special night? You know, I, it really didn't click for me until probably like the fifth inning, I think. Um, everything with my routine was pretty similar throughout the whole day. And, uh, you know, that fifth inning, there's been times this past year where, where I've kind of dwindled off, the velo's gone down, the walks come, and the hits come after them. And uh, I think Coach Rosano coming out was just like, you have this, like, you have the ability to keep going. And so really just getting past that fifth inning and, and through the sixth and then through the seventh was just, that was when it really clicked for me. Awesome. All right, thank you. Cool. Thank you.